Well, we got to experience the first night of the presidential elections, and the rest of the world, America, is like Romeo and Juliet. It's like the Shakespeare story. You've got the, the Capulets and the Montagues fighting each other, two groups, absolutely causing a ridiculous load of commotion in their communities, and then instead of taking responsibility for the crap that they pull, they're too busy pointing the finger at the other. America. Disappointed! Average Dude has something to say about... Yay. Episode 27. Hate talking about this. It's not the subject that I love to discuss, and judging from the viewership on episodes that deal with politics, I'd say that uh, the rest of you aren't real keen on it either. But yesterday, last night, was the first night of the presidential debates, and lo and behold, I'm pissed because they sucked. I expected it to, just not as I just wasn't expecting the sheer magnitude. Heard the usual crap again. I hear this every four years. Trickle down. Tax and spend. I would love to see an election where I don't hear the Republican Party and the Democratic Party, these two bullies, mention the same things over and over again. I don't want to hear trickle down. I don't want to hear tax and spend. I don't want to hear hold the line and all this other nonsense. A government versus private sector. It's the usual junk trickle down doesn't work and tax and spend sure as hell doesn't work trickle down i love this one with all of the uh, provisos and provisions for the filthy rich and the ridiculously huge business owners uh it trickle down like you're waiting for the life-saving water of money to trickle down from the roof it, it's like setting up gutter systems and irrigation to funnel all that much needed water, or I should say money, away from the people, away the, from the middle class and the lower class down below waiting for that trickle down, which isn't happening, because most of that water is going elsewhere. And compliments of the free trade and the world trade, we have it going overseas now. Trickle down my ass. It doesn't work. And then every, uh, every time that, uh, the Democrats are in power, they follow up with tax and spend. That's the worst thing that you can do. Hey, you were waiting for that much needed money then you're already struggling to no end compliments of the butthole Republican Party. Hey, we're gonna tax you out the wazoo and then we're gonna spend it foolishly. What the hell? That's like salt in an open wound, Democratic Party. And, oh, let's just start with the candidates themselves, because they they looked so horrible. Romney, you dumb, dumb, dumb. Math, uh, hello, McFly, math. Where's the money coming from? Oh, I'm going to cover this huge, ridiculous, exorbitant ass amount of money, but it's not going to come from the rich because I'm going to protect them. And it's not going to come from the middle class because I'm actually going to lower the burden on the middle class. I don't know how the hell he's going to do that because he's not sane. And I'm not going to take it from business. Well, then where, Mitt? Mitt? Mitty boy? Where the hell are you going to get this money from? Are you going to pull it out of your ass? Hey. Were you, the only people that I don't believe you mentioned last night were the poor. So what are you going to do? Try to uh, squeeze blood from a turnip, so to speak? I can tell you what happens when it comes to the collection uh, world. If you try to get money from people who don't have money, you are going to waste money trying to get the money that isn't there to be had. You're an idiot, Mitt. Mitt is an idiot. And Obama, ooh, wow, this one blew me away. Mr. President, the Cleveland Clinic has lower prices. Oh! Barack, you are a buffoon. You have no idea what it's like out there. Okay, people, tell me about your Cleveland Clinic bills, because I can tell you what they are right now. They are exorbitant. A big business, like, the medical field is a big business. It's for profit, and, and money is now the, 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 the only motivator. And it will definitely be the sole and only motivator if we privatize completely. Look at what, I mean, the medical field is out of control. You talk about 
the 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 housing bubble <laughs> that is nothing mark my words america nothing compared to the medical field bubble that is about to burst in less than 10 years Ooh, the housing bubble and the foreclosure crisis was nothing compared to our medical field going belly up and then all these facilities going belly up and all these jobs going belly up and your ability to get medical care and help gone. We've seen what happens in Greece and the rest of the world. They are dying off. They, they don't have access to the health anymore. And, and, and that is America's future really fast. We cannot support the medical. It's too top heavy. Government versus private sector. They're both the problem. They're both top heavy. Barack and the Democrats, bigger government is, is not helping. The private sector being bigger is not going to help because it's all going to go up to the people above. In both big government and the private sector, it's the people up above who have completely butt screwed the rest of America. And they got to walk away without paying much of a price. And the rest of us paid the price. Unbelievable. Barack Obama, you have no clue what the hell you're doing. The Cleveland Clinic has lower prices. The medical field is a business. It treats it like, like you're going out and shopping for a damn car. Here's the big, ridiculously overinflated price. Here's the ridiculously low price that you want to pay, and you're going to have to go through the horse crap hassle of negotiating. But you don't have the advantage of negotiating when you're dying of a heart attack. Hey, oh, hey, $1,500 plus for an annual physical exam. Unfair prices and when you try to find out what the price is ahead of time the medical field is not going to tell you they're going to bs and give you these oh well it might be no no, no mites about it we have a right to know what the actual price is going to be ahead of time and you want to know why because you're about to receive some uh, uh surprises compliments of the medical billing profession that bills you for co-pays that you don't deserve Oh, well, I only saw one doctor. Oh, well, see, there were these, these other handful of doctors who looked at your paperwork who just happened to walk by in the hallway, and we decided to bill you for it, the customer. Hey, this is all at the expense of the people. Both of these individuals did not look good in this, uh, and what neither of them will talk about. I'm not going to hear this. The, neither of them are going to talk about the free trade agreement and after. They're not about to say what a colossally bad idea that was because that was Republicans and Democrats agreeing together. That was bipartisanship. Uh, the, you're not going to hear us discuss the National Defense Authorization Act and how much of a bad idea. You're not going to hear that awful anti-protest bill where you can't talk bad about politicians when they happen to be in your area. I mean, Ladies and gentlemen, Republicans and Democrats are bullies, and you're you're allowing them to recruit you to their side and think that the, the other that you might as well vote for them because the other one's worse. They're both unacceptable. We have had two major voices of the people, and both of them have been silenced. We had the. Uh, the Tea Partiers, who did not want the government to spend money that it didn't have, borrow money that it shouldn't have. I mean, you don't, you don't overextend your credit cards. That's stupid. And that's exactly what they were concerned. And they were right. And you want to know what happened? The Republican Party decided, oh, we can't have another conservative group compete with us. Oh, no. So they recruited. And what they didn't recruit, they destroyed and left castrated and inept. And then we wonder why we had people like, oh, God, McCain calling the Tea Party a bunch of hobbits. What the hell did you expect? I mean, the, the Republican Party is god-awful evil. They might as well ha have horns and carry pitchforks. It's like the cartoons where the bad guy, <laughs> and then the people stupidly, oh, yeah, you're great. And then the, the bad guy screws them. They're like, we can't believe he did. They called us hobbits. No kidding. Uh, but 
Mission accomplished. The Republican Party recruited who they could, and they destroyed the Tea Party. And you know what? Then we had the other side. We had the Occupy movement. And guess what happened? You had Al Sharpton and Russell Simmons and all these ridiculous, usual, uh, ridiculously rich, well-to-do Democratic individuals butting in. Yeah, we're part of this. We feel your pain. No, you don't. You had no business being in a movement that was about the people formed from the people. They had a problem, not with big government, but with big business. And in the god-awful screwing that we all got compliments of the financial district and Wall Street. There's a reason why they were occupying that. And you want to know what happened? Same thing that happened to the Tea Party. Both of them had the right idea. One focused on big government and the, pri the other the private sector. And you know what? They should have been agreeing and working together. But because we're so stupid as Americans, we're too busy fighting each other. Idiots. America, you... I might as well move out of this country because I am not convinced that America is worth it. Not because of the politicians. I pretty much figured that the politicians were a waste. But because of you, America, Americans. You allowed yourselves to be stupidly like a bunch of sheep corralled. And I got to see it. Oh, God. Why do you think that SOPA, PIPA, and CISPA are all coming right now? You can't trust the media. They all have their flavor, whether it's the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, so you can't trust that. So you have the Internet. And guess what? That's why SOPA, Pippa, Pippa and CISPA are... This is why the government doesn't want you to see what's going on. That all, the, the National Defense Authorization Act? The anti-protest bill? trying to censor the internet, they don't want you, the people, to have a voice. They silenced two major voices of the people. And, and this is what we do. I was disgusted with, these, uh, th with the debate last night, but not even remotely as disgusted as I was when I walked out to, and I got to hear people talk, because they've been talking, and people who have remained silent are talking about who their favored ones are. They've been corralled. And Facebook and online, America has divided itself 50-50. And in America, you, the people, have completely screwed yourselves and failed. You should have banded together, agreed that the Republicans and Democrats are not good enough, and told them, screw you, you're not getting paid, back to the drawing board. And it's like tunnel vision. You're, you have blind spots. It's like you're driving around, going from lane to lane, not paying attention to who's in your blind spot and possibly colliding because you're too busy pointing at the other driver saying, crazy driver. Uh, the, the stupid people that think that, uh, that Mitt Romney slam dunked Barack Obama or vice versa, you're idiots. It's like an, alco an alcoholic telling the drug addict, you have a sub substance abuse problem. Wake up, America.